Bismillah Hiroman Nirohim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This video is equipped with subtitles for easy understanding. In general, there are many benefits of charity, some of which we often do not even realize that it is caused by charity. Therefore, it is highly recommended to get used to charity. As Muslims and social beings, it is imperative that we help each other in terms of goodness, and one way we can do this is by giving alms. We actually hear the term alms quite often in everyday life, but not many of us know what exactly is the meaning of alms. Almsgiving or shadaka or shodak is an activity of giving something to the poor or to people who are entitled to receive it, beyond our obligation to give zakat and zakat fitra. So, it can be said that almsgiving is an activity to give something voluntarily. This is still our obligation as humans, but apart from other obligations such as paying zakat. At this point, have you understood the meaning and purpose of zakat? If so, also see the benefits below. 11 Benefits of Alms for Our Lives and Others It needs to be underlined, to get the benefits of alms we have to do it sincerely because of Allah Ta'ala. If not, then the alms spent will be in vain and will even result in sin. If you already understand, here are the benefits of almsgiving below for those who practice it, such as 1. As a sin remover, as humans, we are the place to do wrong and sin. Therefore, to wash away our previous sins, we have to do alms frequently. The benefits of this almsgiving will be even more pronounced if you practice it together with the intention to repent. That way, your alms intent will be more accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 2. Rewards and rewards are given multiple. There is nothing wrong with doing alms with the intention of getting multiple rewards. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised the benefits of this charity to those who practice it. Therefore, you don't need to be afraid of running out of wealth when doing alms. Because, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself promised to replace your almsgiving with greater sustenance. 3. Avoid all calamities. Do you know, if you are diligent in giving charity then it will prevent you from all forms of calamity. Yes, this has been clearly stated by Rasulullah. Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah said, the benefits of alms can close 70 doors of crime and disaster, and calamities themselves will not be able to precede alms. 4. Make feelings happy and calm. For some people, the habit of giving alms can bring a sense of joy and calm to their hearts. Therefore, there are also many people who think that almsgiving is addictive in good ways. This feeling of pleasure and serenity is natural. When people buy, there is a feeling of satisfaction because as a human they can be useful for other humans, that is what is addictive in the benefits of Sotico. 5. Get guarantee at the end of the day. Of course, if the benefits of alms are getting abundant rewards by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then people who are diligent in giving alms will certainly get a reward in the form of heaven on the last day. In addition, a story says that the practice of alms will save us from the heat of the sun at the end of the day. People who are diligent in giving charity will always be cool and comfortable. 6. Free from the torment of the grave. The torment of the grave itself exists so that humans can be held accountable for all their actions in the world, until the day of resurrection arrives. As previously mentioned, the benefits of alms are the remission of sins. So, people who are diligent in giving charity will be free from the torment of the grave because their sins have not been erased by the practice of charity. 7. Lighten the burdens of others. For those who give alms, he will get a pleasure and peace of mind. However, the benefit of charity for those who receive it is that the burden he will suffer will be reduced. For example, you give charity to people who are sick. With any money or assistance that you provide, it will certainly be very useful to speed up the healing of that person. 8. Extend someone's life. Indirectly, the benefits of alms that can be obtained are to extend our own life. Why is that? This is because the quality of life for those who are diligent in giving alms is better than those who are not. This is because people who give charity are happier and have a calmer mind. So that, in living daily life that person does not experience any mental stress. 9. Increase inheritance in the world and the hereafter. The inheritance here is divided into two types, there is an inheritance of wealth that we leave behind when we die and there is an inheritance of charity that we cultivate for the last day. In the hadith narrated by Ahmad, Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah said, it is not a person who gives charity well unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala maintains the continuity of his inheritance. 10. Tightening the Siladarami Rope. The next benefit of alms is to tighten the relationship. Yes, by helping people a lot, of course the people around will feel happy about our presence. Therefore, almsgiving makes the relationship tighter. In addition, by diligently giving charity to others, we will be easier to help when we feel trouble. 
11. Increase faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, there is no most important purpose in giving alms other than to get reward and pleasure from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, if we do it sincerely, being willing can increase people's faith in the Creator. If we have more faith, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not hesitate to increase our sustenance. Those were some of the benefits of alms that are important to know. In addition, it is important to note that giving alms is not only about wealth, but there are other ways you can do it besides giving money. The way of alms apart from giving money. Don't ever think, if the financial condition is not good then we are free from the obligation to give alms. In fact, one of the benefits of alms is to facilitate sustenance, so it is important to do so. There is no need to be confused about how to do alms without money, because there are some non-material physical worship which is classified as alms, such as helping others with energy and mind. In addition, small things such as smiling, providing for the family, teaching science and knowledge, dicker, etc. are still classified as alms. Therefore, even though you are not able to give alms in the form of money or assets, you can do non-material alms, as mentioned above to get the benefits of alms. In the previous point it was also mentioned, if almsgiving will not reduce wealth. In fact, almsgiving alone can multiply the assets and rewards that you have. Therefore, do not hesitate to do alms under any conditions, whether it is difficult or happy. May Allah accept our deeds of worship, forgive, bless, and grant our prayers. There is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the Messenger of Allah. Hopefully this knowledge is useful for all of us. Please share like subscribe and comment on the great videos of Akbar Disapu if there are benefits and don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss the latest videos from us. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.